everything about copper part 4. Copper is really important for our society and not only for its chemical or antibacterial properties but mainly for its physical properties. First, copper is ductile and malleable. For that, we use copper to seal chambers and tubes to keep ultra high vacuum. And I don't speak about the vacuum that keeps your potatoes safe. I speak about such a high vacuum that a gas molecule have to travel several kilometers before colliding with another molecule. A copper gasket like this one is compressed between knife edge flanges. The copper deforms and fills microscopic imperfections in the sealing surface, creating a tight and gas impermeable seal. However, copper gaskets are single use because once deformed they cannot be used again. Secondly, copper is not magnetic and can repel a magnet. In that example, the magnetic field created from the magnet rearranged the electron on the surface of the copper and the electron start to rotate, creating a resistance. Thirdly, the copper has a good electrical conductivity. Copper is ranking just second after silver. In my job, I'm using copper to design small conductive elements directly in 2D foils. I'm also using electrode deposition to deposit a thin layer of copper on 3D printed electrodes. Finally, it is also a good thermal conductor, way above iron and glass. If I want to cool down a sample inside a vacuum instrument, from the outside I'm using copper. In summary, copper has a good malleability and ductility. It is not magnetic. It has a good electrical conductivity, but also a good thermal conductivity. So subscribe. It's science, it's no use. No, no, no.